Well, we're going to help Gwen with her makeup and we're because we're getting all ready for the show. <laughs> Costumes ready for the show. Put on the aprons. Last but not least, the hats. All right, Gwen, we'll do yours first. And we have the, the, <laughs> the logo on the hats. The logo is from Chris. <laughs> Strock, Susie's yeah. best friend in high school. That is my head's too big. Welcome back to Cooking with Gwen. I would like to introduce my sister Patty is here <laughs> from Arkansas and we're going to make tuna casserole today. I make this very frequently. It's been a family favorite for all of our families for a very long time. Everybody seems to like it. But the grandkids love it. Our mother made it every time we would go to Nebraska or you, uh, the Phelans would come to Nebraska because they they loved it too. It's We are going to chop the onion, a third of a cup of onion, and uh, it's supposed to be chopped. Wait, right, Patty. We're going to chop a fourth of a cup, a third of a cup of green pepper. Well, it doesn't have to be very small, just, uh, you know, just small pieces, but I wouldn't use the chopper, it's too fine. We need a cup of celery. I have a question. Yes? When Rhonda was the guest host, you gave her wine. Why don't I get any wine? <laughs> Patty Here. kept the celery. See, she just does what I say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're sisters. You can tell because she's an idiot. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, whiner. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Next, we need to chunk the cheese. What type of cheese are you using? Velveeta. Really? When I say to chunk the cheese, it looks like this. Don't grate it. You can chunk the cheese. Or you can cut the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut the cheese? The cheese. <laughs> no. I think our producer did, perhaps. Yes. I we need a small jar of pimentos drained. So we'll just drain it. Now we're going to add all these chopped vegetables to uh, three and a half cups of pre-cooked noodles. If you'll cook about two cups of it, it comes out to just a little over three and a half cups. First, we, we're going to dump the celery or the uh, onion. Next, the green peppers. They do not have to be in this order. We're going to dump the celery now and the pimento. And we'll stir Mix it up. up. There's the spoon right there. Now we're going to dump the tuna. And one can of cream of celery soup. Half a cup of mayonnaise. Half a cup of mayonnaise. Let me start mixing it up. We need a half a cup of milk. And a half, tup, half a teaspoon of <laughs> salt. salt. We're going to preheat the oven to 425 degrees. We, we've transferred it to an oven-safe pan. We're going to cook it at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. Most of it's cooked anyway, so it's just melting the cheese and making sure that it's, it's hot. We're going to set the timer for 20 minutes now. We're going to sit down and rest and have a glass of wine while we're enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to sit down and have a glass of wine while we're waiting for it to cook. Right. I got the aprons in Nebraska last weekend when I was with Jackie. We went to the outlet mall and 
can look just perfect for this Good. episode. And so I brought them along. Good enough. Go Big Red. Let's go check the tuna casserole. I'm hungry. I am too. Let's eat. Thank you for joining us. It's good to have Patty here. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs>